Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Devation. Okay. And on today, we are going to be doing a quick Shoney's simple breakfast, French toast sticks, bologna. Yes, I did say bologna, and it must be the thick cut bologna in my opinion. I just love the thick cut. And also some creamy good grits. So let's get into the video. Okay, so we have French toast that we purchased from Sam's Club. It's the Memo Mark brand. And we also have some Ziggler Bologna. Ziggler Bologna is the best brand of bologna, <laughs> in my opinion, to eat your own. We also have some Jimmy, Jimmy Dammy, Jimmy Dammy, Jimmy Danny grits, which don't take that long to cook. We also have these uh, French toast sticks made by Members Mark. We're going to do the oven. You can do the oven, microwave, convictional oven, toaster oven. I'm just going to use the regular oven. We're going to put it on 450 for 7 to 8 minutes. If it's half a bag, but if it's a whole bag, you're going to do 8 to 9 minutes. In my case, I'm just going to do a half a bag, so it's going to be 7 to 8 minutes. My oven has already preheated. We're going to go ahead and place it in the oven. And while I was, uh, while we let the stove preheat, which is already done, we did go ahead and start boiling some water for some grits because we, once again, this is a simple, quick breakfast meal, breakfast meal. So into that water, I just have to add a little bit of salt and butter. Eight minutes, once again, we're gonna move on over here to the grit water. My kids don't eat grits that much, so grits are really just for me and hubby. Um, I was looking for my other salt, but hey, bring baby salt to do. Put a little bit of salt in the water. Not too much salt, because you don't want it too salty. And once again, you see how it's already edible. We're going to go ahead and add the grits. You do want to grab you a whisk if you do not want lumpy grits. I cannot stand lumpy grits. Because you be eating them, they be so good. If the right person made them, you know, you eat them and you get a mouthful of clumps. That is not good. And the clumps don't be done. So, that's what we're Whisk, we're going to pour in it. Y'all, I don't measure. I just know how much to put in there. And don't add too many grits because you do have to um, take in the water so they're going to get thicker. And if you put a whole lot of grits with the water while you're doing it, it's going to be a hot mess. But you can also go by the instructions on the bag. Once again, I said I don't do that. <laughs> I just know how much to pour, depending on how many people are eating. Okay, for, uh, they said microwave. I didn't even realize you can cook them in the microwave. Comment down below if you knew you can cook grits in the microwave. I cook mine on stove top every time. For one serving, you can do half a cup of, one and a half cups of water for grits. You'll do one fourth cup of grits and a pinch of salt. So salt is each its own. Some people don't like salt, so you don't have to add salt if you don't like salt. We're going to give this a quick whisk. And do not eat it up high. Once you whisk those grits, you want to um, turn the eye down and put a lid on it. Simple, 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 simple. Okay, so that now we are going to add a top. And look. This is like I did what I just told y'all don't. I think I want to add some more water. You know what I'm saying? Don't add too much water where your grits will turn out tasting watery. I'm just going to grab some water off the refrigerator here. You don't want to add that much water. Yeah, I make errors too. Okay, and so what? But I bet they're going to be good. Alright, 
it look like a party. Toast is now done. We're gonna go ahead and take that out. They smell so good. And this is what we're looking like. Yeah. Okay, so we've just taken the French toast out. The grits are almost done. They're doing a little popping. Be careful because when grits pop, you can pop you. So be careful. We're going to cut the bologna. We got a couple pieces of bologna here. We got what? two pieces of bologna. We're going to cut it in half um, to make four. We're going to do four at a time. Uh, well, not four at a time, but two at a time. <laughs> Don't cut it down like that. Take it off. Let it do what it do. Right now, our bologna is starting to sizzle. You hear that? You hear that? I know you hear it. I know you hear it. You ain't never had no... Maloney go back to childhood days. Like, you ain't never had no You ain't never had Shoney's breakfast. But Shoney's does not burn their bologna. Which is something I don't like. Well, I ain't gonna say I don't like it. I just prefer for them to burn the bologna. And they have now closed all of the bologna's in Montgomery. Now, I said close all the dang balonies. What the hell? <laughs> They've closed all of the Shoney's restaurants. And that's in Montgomery, Pratt, or Retonka. All the ones in close range within my area are closed down permanently. I don't know why, but they breakfast was the bomb. I never really went past breakfast, maybe once. It wasn't that memorable. I can't use that. It wasn't that memorable. Memorable. <laughs> it wasn't that memorable. So, it is what it is. While that bologna is still doing its thing, we're going to slide over here to these grits and add some cheese and butter. Add some butter. I like a lot of butter. Add some And yes, I know this eye is too big for this pan. I dislike having to reach to the back when I cook. I like it to be right in front of me. Pick those bits. Okay, to the um, I forgot the syrup, and yes, I prefer the great value syrup. Oh, ancient, maybe I prefer great value butter flavored syrup is the best syrup to me. I've tried other brands other than Allegra syrup, but the syrup because they are already very sweet and toasted with cinnamon. Gonna go ahead and get this bad for a try. The grit still hot, y'all, still hot. I'm 
blowing, I'm blowing. Cause baby, I done been burnt before. You hear me? I done been burnt before. It's not pretty. It's not pretty. Mm hmm The way they supposed to be. Mm-hmm. And for my kids, sometimes you can put fruit with it as well. 